Owen. We're here at Papa World headquarters outside Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania to play the bodacious 1990s skateboarding classic Bally's Radical. Uh, this game by Dan Langlois has uh, got uh, lots of interesting shots. Uh, two upper flippers including one that is just free with nothing feeding it below bumpers. Uh, some side ramps, some tail sliding, some skateboard action, a snake run, and uh, some pretty fast action with the uh, uh, shot making, but some, some interesting rules decisions as well. So let's fire it up and see if we can't get some mega millions. Right, so Radical is a game of shot making. There's seven main shots on the game, each one of them giving you a letter in the word Radical. On a plunge, you also get a free letter. Whenever the ball trips over that uh, tail slider, it will give you a letter. In this case, I got the credit for uh, the letter I, which is the hardest one. The, uh, the side ramp, uh, the side ramp you need to make from the upper, upper left flipper. I find that shot to be incredibly difficult, primarily because that upper left flipper, as you see there, is there's no way to really get a clean feed onto that flipper. Uh, coming through from the right spinner, it uh, often will hit a bumper. That is about as clean as it gets. And even then, it didn't uh, really wasn't very effective. You need R, A, and C left. R is the snake on the, uh, the the snake spell on the left side. A is the verticals, and C is achieved by either completing by completing the uh, drop targets on the left. So let's see. I need R and A. Let's get R, and let's get A. Here I'm trying to uh, transfer by an alley pass. Oh, look at that. The alley pass actually gave me the letter. So early on in the game, those inlanes will spot letters for you in Radical. So if you're stuck needing one more shot, use the inlanes. And if you are an alley passer or shatzer, you can pull, uh, pull that off. Otherwise, uh, you can make the shot. You can also spot letters through the uh, the drop target bank, which is now lit for a million points as well. That's nice. I need to make it anyway because I need to spell radical. You're gonna give me a million points for doing something I was otherwise already gonna do? I will happily oblige. One of the other features in the game is the tail slider, which is this ramp. Pops around into that hole, and then you get another chance to shoot it again. Another tail slider. There's a limit to how many tail sliders it'll let you have before uh, it'll force you into the uh, snake area on the left. What do I need still? I need R, E, and I. There is the shot to the side ramp. Radical, and that uh, is often worth a million points. Um, and I believe it also spots a letter, but I'm not certain of that. Or die. I need to get it over to the right flipper and then shoot the snake on the left here. So there's the alley pass and feed it in there. Two balls locked, starts multi-ball. Mega millions on the left ramp is usually a variable number from three to three to 10 million in competitive play. That is, uh, we have a special ROM that locks that number at five million every time. Oh, that was a good feed there. I should have got that. But uh, bad shooting on my part. Oh, get that. It's really interesting because there isn't like an obvious way to get the ball over to that flipper. Here it comes now and there we go. Boom! Five million bazingas. And you get paid really nicely here. You get paid a million at a time. It's a pretty cool effect. Uh, I, I would love to see more games doing something like that with uh, the payoffs. Now, after collecting Mega Millions, you're like, what is going on? There's nothing left. You're back to spelling radical again. Uh, shooting letters, shooting everything. The millions on the drop targets is a good call right now. Notice that's on a timer. And I, oh, it expired. Just barely expired there. So, yeah, that million is, you think it's a freely available million. It ain't. Uh, 
That is like totally rad. And uh, meanwhile, we're uh, not too far away from spelling radical again. But now the, you go like, yeah, I'm fine. I only got two more letters. Think about which letters you have left. Multi ball is over, and I get to keep my letters. So the fact that I earned every letter except for A means I can get a lock that much more quickly here. Uh, let's focus on uh, one of the other major rules, the snake run, which is up the middle. There are three drop targets, mark one, two, three in the back, and then a snake run behind it. If you finish all of one, two, three, you have a limited amount of time to shoot for snake run. If you don't finish all of one, two, three, then you can shoot with impunity back to the back there. Uh, and if you miss, chances are pretty good you're going to get uh, a decent bounce into something useful. Oh, almost a backhand into that. That was uh, not my intent. Just a, a bad flip on my part. There's the lock. Um, one thing to know about the geometry of this game is uh, this right side is really dangerous. Uh, you've, you're very unlikely to save a ball if it ever gets down there. So I'm being extra aggressive when it even gets over to that area. I want to use the top of the slingshot to push the ball out of the whole area. Push it up to that yellow post and out or off against the metal rail and out. I do not want the ball anywhere near this in lane out lane on the right. It is dead basically if it ever gets over there. So we're trying to spell uh, radical again here. And let's see if we can't get the million on there. It looks like uh, you get a million if you can complete those drops within a, a pretty tight amount of time. Whoa! Danger, danger, danger. All right, there's a snake run, almost a snake run completion. There. What do I need for my letters? So paying attention to your radical letters is pretty important. I'm focusing on snake run just to try and show the rule, but realistically what I should be doing here is shooting R on the left. And trying to spot a letter to get credit for the I on the, on the uh, side ramp. That's dead. And I want to share with you something that we've been seeing some tournament players doing, which is not allowed in competitive play, which is tilting on purpose there. Um, while a ball is in the lock. For whatever reason, Radical in its code decides in those moments that it's gonna clear the lock. Uh, and this isn't fair. Uh, what this does is it prevents the player from carrying through a lock to the other player. Um, and you might say, okay, a player's doing that strategically. That is against the rules for that both Papa and IFPA use for comp competitive purposes. So uh, if you see a player doing that on Radical in a, in a tournament setting, uh, you bring it to the attention of the officials because it's not allowed and it is a serious uh, violation of the rules and it should be a disqualification for that player. Anyway, uh, so now that you've seen me do it, don't do it. But uh, I felt it was important to bring that to everyone's attention because it is something that, that is happening on the game that is explicitly against the tournament rules. Um, in single player, it really doesn't do anything because the game will... Uh, react by saying, oh, I'm sorry, you should have had the lock lit. Uh, let me feed you back the lock. But what you do, you lose all your letters. You lose the progress you had towards the next, the next lock. Well, let's see if I can get a couple of snake runs uh, going here. There's uh, one, two, three. Oh, goodness, that was fast. Uh, geometry of the bumpers is kind of cool back there. The four bumpers instead of three. Um, it's just so many neat shots in this game, and uh, the designer, Dan Lanloy, um, you know, he has uh, made a, a number of different games that uh, have unusual layouts and just uh, neat ball effects, like that one right there on the snake shots. Putting it in there kicks the other ball to pass it back out while still giving credit for the shot. It's just uh, really clever. Um, truly solid mechanical action. What do I need here? A, D, I, C. There's D. There's the tail slider. Even the use of the upper flipper in the way that you just saw there to kind of control and get the ball back to a, to a, a trap on the upper flipper. Those things are possible here. 
go for the snake run. And once you finish one, two, three on snake run, you get a very limited amount of time to try and shoot the target that's behind the snake run, and then it'll pay you off one of these, uh, one of these options. I guess, it, I think it gave me skate or die, which is effectively complete all of radical. Uh, so you get a fair amount of points for shooting the snake run. And uh, I have seen some players put, uh, put up big scores. That was lucky there to get a feed right away to pay off the five. All right, and we got another million there on the drops. If I can finish the drop target bank quickly enough. With two balls in play, it tends to be easier to get that million. Snake runs ready, too. Okay. So all of the things you could do in regular play, you can still do. You can spot letters from uh, completing the drops. You can, uh, it's really yelling at me about the snake run, so I don't know why. There's a snake run. Snake run awards. Oh, I did not know that. That is really interesting. Uh, it would appear that uh, shooting the other thing that's also spelled snake gives you the same business. I don't know if that was true or if I just if I was hallucinating. I don't think I was hallucinating that. Uh, <laughs> let's, let's see if we can do that again. Snake Run also appears to be giving a bonus multiplier of completing the one, the one two, three. So uh, that's it's not a small number of points. You know, we've got five x to uh, four hundred thousand right now. Um, still need the I. So better thing to do is to try and spot letter by completing the drop target bank. But sometimes you get a shot at that busted move, and it is a great shot, but so frustrating because. You're like, surely I'll get this, this time. And after enough shots, it will then deflect into, now I want to point out what happened there. If you get enough of the tail sliders that it kicks the ball over to the other side because it's sick of you making tail sliders, it will count that as the other side ramp. So by making four tail sliders in a row, whatever it was there, I got credit for the eye as well as the A. So tail slider is also your way through to getting credit for I if you need it for multiple. Kickback, the kickback relights every time you spell radical, which fortunately just happened for me. Let me see if I can get a snake run out of this. There it is, snake run target in the back is me. What are you giving me, what are you giving me? Skate or die, ah, oh, sweet. So that is a full completion of Radical. Lock is ready. Try post transfer or some other type of transfer. That did not work very effectively, but it was pretty good. Um, millions. Another shocking five million award potentially here. It's tough here whether you handle that kick out because if you lose either of the balls there, that's it. That's the end of the multi-ball. It's not uncommon to see that happen super fast or lose one down the right out lane. If two are on the same flipper, you can kind of separate them, hope for one of the balls to kind of flop over, use the bumpers. Use the geometry. This is an unusual game with unusual geometry. And you can also nudge up there. Oh, that was terrible. I should have had the jackpot there. I just uh, made a poor shot. And here it comes. Oh, another bad shot. Another bad creation. Right up there with uh, BBD in the East Coast family. Is that, oh, that's the that's a terrible time to make that ramp. And uh, wow, oh, that's just quite the wedge. We got uh, a ball stuck on top of the other ball. This is not coming out. We're gonna have to uh, uh, get the techs over here. Uh, sir, I need a tech on Radical. Tech. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those sneaky fades in the video. No one knows what happened. 
do, do, do. And we're back! Uh, so we're still in multi-ball. The, the Mega Millions seems to have disappeared. Um, I guess the time's out. I had no idea. That is a thing. Um, okay, well, uh, the jackpot is not lit anymore. And uh, instead we must spell radical to light the jackpot. So uh, why don't we just go for snake runs instead. Pick up the letters as we can, but uh, I did not know that was even possible. And that's the end of multi-ball anyway. All right, back to uh, what should we do now? Why not the same thing we do every night? Try to spell radical. You find that you can spell radical pretty quickly. Like it's not that there's not a lot going on, but also the letter value, the letter value of getting a letter um, increases the faster you do it. So if you can pick up, pick off letters quick. You can get up to a million per letter. Right now I've got I as my only one left. The other option is tail slider. So let's see if I can pick off the I ramp by feeding it through the spinner on the right. And that spinner on the right is 10,000 a spin. So it's not like you're getting small potatoes there. And then if you miss that, you can try to get it via the tail slider. So enough tail slider ramps consecutively, each one giving you 100,000. You have to make more and more of these after each phase before it gives it to you, but then it's going to give you, oh, I guess not. Well, I don't know. I, I, I thought that gives credit for the eye, but I'm sorry about that. I was wrong. That's what happened earlier, but uh, my misinterpretation of what happened. Something happened there, and it was not the thing I thought it was happening. Um, Sometimes you see players play for these tail sliders. It's a good way of grinding small points. Um, I don't think these are really as valuable as they're made out to be because there's plenty of other ways to get a million points, 500,000, totally gnarly. The only real benefit of getting this shot, these shots and trying to make uh, five or six of them in a row is to just get to hear all those uh, uh, late 80s and early 90s catchphrases about how bodacious and awesome you are and how totally radical everything is. That was probably pretty savable. I should have bounced it higher off the left sling. Once it's over in that in lane out lane area, just like on the right side, but the left side not as dangerous, but it's still pretty bad. I do not want it to even get over there in the first place. All right, let's see if we can't uh, get some tail slide action or get that final letter that we want. Right now, you can see this, the spot letter is lit there. That came from the, uh, the spot letter on the uh, drop targets. Wait, there's a what happened there? Oh, it went into the loop. I see. Yeah, take that eye. I love that shot. Just a, such a nice, clean shot when it's there. That is a great shot. Um, one of these, like these, these late '80s ballys, and this one is 1990, but it still has the same flavor as games like uh, Blackwater 100 and uh, uh, Escape from the Lost World. Just games with these totally weird layouts and uh, unique stuff that uh, you don't really see much. Oh, I just missed a chance at the jackpot because I wasn't paying attention to the ball. Goodness gracious! Don't do that. What is wrong with you, sir? Oh, bad, 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 bad. Well, so much for that. No five million for you, sir. Well, there's still time. There's still time. Nope, it's gone. And it's gone! That uh, jackpot, uh, that jackpot was a little longer than Pinburg. Alright. Uh, thank you so much to the players who have uh, registered for Pinburg and uh, uh, we'll continue to really make this a, a great tournament with Lots of players. Yeah, the, so the shot over on the left towards Snake Run. I had no idea that that's it. Maybe it makes total sense because they're both called Snake. And if you're trying to distinguish with like, which one is that? Is that the Snake? Is this the Snake? They're both Snake. Snake Run. 
So there's Snake Run on the back. That was a lucky bounce. And this is going to pay off something. Skate or die. Full completion of Radical, one shot. I choose not to die just yet. Totally gnarly. Totally gnarly. Whoa! Hello! Oh, I love that. I think there's much more to say about the game here. I will. I want to tell you that uh, this game actually was created as part of a uh, an agreement between the skateboarding community and uh, Valley Pinball that started in 1970 with the 1970 Zipadoo. They said that every 10 years you must make a brand new game about skateboarding. Uh, so they made Zipadoo in 1970, then uh, Skateball in 1990, uh, 1980, then this game in 1990. And um, they were going to make uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater for 2000, but the company went out of business in uh, 1999. So uh, big thanks here to Jim Mank and Larissa Pennell for supporting the Patreon, uh, putting in the initials LDB in their honor for... Uh, Second highest score ever on this machine. Uh, appreciate you watching the video here. Uh, ask away any questions you have about uh, the way the game is designed or the, the layout or decisions we make. Appreciate you watching and uh, take care. All right, the guy whose shirt I'm wearing says I gotta play for snake runs. So let's run a game out for snake runs and see what, what happens. Um, we've heard from some players who've said that uh, playing Playing for snake runs is a way of, uh, of reducing, not risk, risk is, yeah, actually risk is probably the right word. Reducing the risk in the game, sending it up the middle towards the one, two, three, and then getting rewards from completing the snake. So, I think it'll little locked on to where the one, two, three is, but I think I'm there. Close transfer, a little bit of an ugly one. There's one, two, three. And then the snake run is either shot the snake there or the other snake there. And I'll take that one if it's gonna give me. Wait for it to give it to you. A million points. That's a good deal. I'll take that. Well, what, if, can you get both? It seems to be lighting up the other one there. Wait, I don't quite understand what happened there. Can you get both? Maybe, we'll figure out. There's Skater Die, that is uh, a lock lit. Surprised it wouldn't just give me the lock there, but it didn't. Uh, there's the lock, totally gnarly. Really, totally gnarly? Oh boy. It's just an interesting way to play the game. I think that uh, if you think about the ways the ball drains in this game, it doesn't really drain from the middle. Especially there, like, oh, wow! I should say, yeah, it doesn't really drain this way is not a nice thing to say to a game because the game will immediately then start uh, saying, oh, I can do that just fine. Oh, I totally made that. No. 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 Oh well. Let's uh, back to it. This game is very, very uh, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, in a sort of Saved by the Bell uh, animated whatever kind of thing. I don't know. It's definitely about skateboarding. And it's definitely a child of 1990. <laughs> oh, I get myself in trouble over there. Too much sling action, but uh, there I had a little bit of a moment to react. 
uh, to, to save that ball and uh, not pull it off. Whoa. Skates or die. Oh, get up there. That's kind of the ideal you want when you when you throw the ball up to the up to the bumpers in hopes that it's going to do something. That bump over to the immediate upper flipper is uh, the, the perfect the perfect play. But then missing the upper flipper shot is not the perfect play. I don't know. I'm curious what other players do here. I just kind of hope for the best. Like getting a bounce, getting a roll like that. Any stuff back under control. I want to do this with the right flipper because the left flipper is occupied with my other ball. Someone who can stage flip might be able to do a better job here. Dog. Yeah, take that. Boom shakalaka. Oh, stupid. And that, like, if you're saying why do I shoot the thing in the back, the timing of that is, is why you would. The, the amount of reaction time that one has, that, you, that I have, wasn't enough to save that ball. That was a savable ball, but I didn't know that I was in trouble until it was already too late. Where, if you aim for the one, two, three, you know, you have more reaction time. You're less likely to lose a ball, even from situations that are just as dangerous. And on um, on these ba on this valley, particularly if if the, the the longer flippers have been in place, it might it might be even possible to save virtually any center drain on this. One. That was a tough uh, tough stop. And what have we got left? D. Okay. So I would abandon that uh, one, two, three strategy if I see that uh, I'm really close to smelling radical. Well, let's see what, what it gives me. I don't want it to give me skater dies. I've already got skater dies. Ah, extra ball. Hooray. Yeah, that's nice there. That's the type of play that you can use on a lot of machines, uh, effectively using the upper flipper as a live catch or a drop catch to give yourself a cleaner upper flipper shot than you would have otherwise. All right, well, we're supposed to be shooting for snake only. That was uh, almost a drain <laughs> off the flipper. I guess to drop it in time. Boom, boom. Oh! Two warnings now. Tip off the flipper there. It's a, uh, snake run, not gonna happen. Sure, take whatever else the game is giving you, like these uh, tail sliders. But one, two, three, huh? Oh, snake run! No! Make a shot, don't miss the shot. Oh my God, stop missing that. Well, it went fine until that. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not completely convinced that this is the better way to play the game, but uh, it, it could be more consistent and in competitive play where you have to consider what you're doing with the locks, uh, you don't want to leave the lock for the other player. In fact, you, you want the fastest way possible to complete Radical the second time so that you can get the multi-ball yourself instead of leaving it uh, to your opponent. And getting snake or, uh, skate or die out of the snake run might be the fastest way uh, rather than trying to, to take out all seven shots uh, dangerously. It's an interesting idea and uh, one I will think about. But uh, hopefully this is... Uh, helped understand what skateboarding looked like in 1990 as opposed to 1980 or 1970 or 2000. And uh, Radical will live on here at the Papa Collection. Thanks. Take care.